I am Anil Kumar. We are discussing limits of trigonometric functions. We have already found the limit for sin x over x when x approaches 0 in one of our videos. A link for the same is being provided. Now in this video, let us try to understand how to apply this most useful result in finding limits for trigonometric functions. So I have taken few which involve similar kind of function. The first one here is find limit when x approaches 0 for sine 3x over x. Then we have limit x approaches 0 for sine ax over bx. And c is find limit when x approaches 0 for sine 7x divided by sine 5x. Okay. So we should get this kind of a form to utilize the fundamental limit of this trigonometric function. So let me rewrite this given limit as limit x approaches 0 we have sine 3x over x we need 3 in the denominator so what I will do is I multiply and divide by 3 which could be written as 3 is a constant let me write down here and then we can say limit x approaches 0 of sine 3x over 3x do you see that now, x could be 3x, 5x, but same thing, right? So you could always write a small substitution saying that let uh, 3x equals to theta, right? Uh, then as x approaches 0, theta approaches 0, right? So, so this kind of substitution you can make here and then rewrite the expression as limit theta approaching 0, 3 is here outside, let me write 3 here first, sine theta over theta, correct? So we made a small substitution saying that let 3x equals to theta, then when x approaches 0, theta approaches 0. So I could write this as sine theta over theta. Now you know this limit is 1, so you could write this as 3 times 1 and therefore the result is 3, correct? So that is how you could get limit of uh, these functions. So we have basically applied the fundamental limits. Okay. Now let's do the same thing for the next one. So what I will do is I'll not write down the substitution. Right? You should take care of the substitution. But you have learned that these two arguments they should be same, right? 3x here and 3x there. It results into similar thing as sine theta over theta where theta approaches zero okay so i'll do a shortcut here write down the solution of these two you can always pause the video answer the question so we're going to do the second part as a limit x approaches zero so we have sine ax sine ax i need ax in the denominator right so i can multiply this uh, I have bx in the denominator so I already have x I don't have a in the denominator right so let me rewrite this so I could multiply and divide by a right so I should say multiply and divide by a correct so that is what I've done now a is a constant I can write it outside so I have a limit sine ax this is limit when x approaches 0 and in the denominator I'm writing a times x a times x b is a constant I'm writing it outside so I'm writing this as a over b do you see that now you can again write down substitution that is let ax equals to theta then as x approaches 0 theta approaches 0 so you can write, replace this by theta, right? So once you do that, just as we did here, let me rewrite now. So what you get here is limit theta approaches 0. A over B, let me rewrite. Okay, let me write it in different ink. A over B. And what we have inside is sine theta over theta. And this, you know, is 1 and therefore a over b is our answer correct 
So we again got the same answer as these coefficients, correct? Okay. Now let's look into the part C, which is limit sine seven x over sine five x. You can pause the video and answer the question. The answer should be five over seven or something like that, correct? Okay, let's see what it could be, right? Okay. So follow the same steps. What we have here is limit x approaches zero and we have sine seven x. I need to divide this by 7x correct so what I will do here is I'll multiply and divide by 7x is it okay and the denominator I have sine 5x let me divide and multiply this by 5x is that okay okay now what can I do now here we'll utilize this 7x as the denominator this 5x as the denominator here, uh, right? So, okay, we'll do it in two steps. Okay, so let me rewrite this as limit x approaches zero. So we can write this as uh, sine seven x over seven x, and what we have here is seven x. Is that okay? Over limit sine five x over 5x and we have here 5x so as you can clearly see that x and x cancel correct so you're left with 7 over 5 7 over 5 now so we are left with 7 over 5 let me write this as limit x approaches 0 uh, for the numerator part which is which you could write sine 7x over 7x right divided by so let me write like this divide by limit x approaches 0 for the denominator part which is sine 5x over 5x okay let me write these in brackets so that's the denominator part this is the numerator correct so you found limit for both numerator and denominator 7 and 5 are constants. I took them outside. We know from the above examples that seven sine 7x over 7x limit x approaches 0 is 1. This is also 1. And therefore, we get a result which is 7 over 5. Do you see that? So 7 over 5 is the answer for part C. So these are three related questions where we have directly applied a fundamental limit for trigonometric function which is limit x approaches 0 of sine x over x equals to 1 right so i hope that helps you and this will okay, this can be a part of your trigonometric functions at times i'm anil kumar you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best